Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Lands. My name's Tuckorsa and today I was out fishing trying to get um well everything that I needed from fishing. The list is too long, I can't remember it all. But I got a vent sleeper and some other stuff and Flux decided she wanted to start talking. I don't know what this is about, so anyways, these are so squishy. Why is it that delicacies are always kind of gross? Maybe so people eat the things they otherwise wouldn't want to. Maybe you're right. Let's get these to the Alpha Shard pod guard where they can be appreciated. Alpha... Oh. Okay, I have no idea what it was. I think it was the vent sleepers. I need more though. I think that was like the first one that I had gotten. They are incredibly rare compared to other things. But anyways, I'm gonna continue fishing and I'll meet you guys somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet, but I'll meet you guys somewhere. Alright, and we're back. So I'm stopping off here first. Not for that, but so I can build that and untrack it. That's gonna take a little bit to make. We also need five of these. I don't think I'm gonna be getting them back, which is a shame because the Smash Blossom trunks are really hard to get a hold of. I guess not really hard, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but they take some effort to get a hold of them. Alright, so we can go ahead. Alright, here we go, new workstation! And yeah, that's the next tier of armor and weapon. So let's go ahead and throw that down. Okay, we'll let that work. Now I need five slurry canes. I need two of them, which means I need more carboan. Oh, oh, good. I was meaning to exit out of that. Luckily I built the slurry canes. So we need more carboan, so I'm gonna have to go through some more of the slurry cane process, or not slurry cane, slurry processing. Let that run for a little bit. Okay, got my five potted parapods. And I need ten more carboan. In order to make the uh, slurry cane, right? Oh no, I can build it now. Okay, now we have the slurry cane. Um, I'll just let that run. I don't need that quite yet. Okay, so we got the green thumb, so we can send the um, supplies to a podling for, let's see, that was for the savannah teleporter here in the um, tundra. Let's see, um, I have the five scatty for baboom. I can't do that one yet and I can't do this one yet all right so I guess we're gonna start off with special delivery um, I want to talk to this one over by grandmammy so uh -huh. you know what? how about we do that one first so I can get the coordinates for the Savannah teleporter these will do. Chica scrounged up just one podling and sent them toward the stone already. You'll need to get there quickly to ensure its safety. I worked out the general area where it's likely to be. I'll put the coordinates on your map. Now get to the green stone and secure it. Let's see. Where's it at? I actually have a teleporter out there, so that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see, I also need to go to the Alpha Shard. That'll be the next place that I need to go. Oh, 
Oh, of course. YOLO. <laughs> he came out of thin air. Light and fire. Moth and tisk. I don't know what happened to them. The shard? The demon head has it. Of course he does. I'm in no shape to broadcast the news. You'll have to tell Chica so he can beatbox it across the tundra. This is bad. Juice box, we should get back as soon as... Quiet! Someone is beatboxing. Oh no, the beta shard podguard is under attack. I'll meet you there. Where? We have no idea where it is. Far to the south of the creepstone. Let's go, now! You guys should have just given me the shard. That is not yours to take. All right, we'll go after the beta shard here in a bit. Let's see. Let's head out to Persuader's Point and get that taken care of. All right, here's your skeddy. Chomp them down before we get tired of this deal making. Mmm, delicious. Ah. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so about our friends here. Let them go? You've convinced me that this quadrupus is as good as he says. He can go, but I still don't trust this Brubus. You should have left me behind, Makalak. I told you trouble would follow a thresher. Hush. If trouble and flux follow us, we'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let Makalak go. What will it take for the Brubus? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking some of those delightful coral dusters would make a fitting post meal. Bring me 20 of those and I'll consider your thruster, thresher friend good to go. I've got to get to HQ, Oon. I'll see you there soon. Trust Flux. We'll be back shortly. I've already got them, so we're here! Here's your coral dusters. Now give us Oon. You fed me, and in turn, I fed some of my podlings and told them that Oon here was the one who did the fishing. You did what? You did me a favor? Polari don't do favors, Brubus. It was only right. Making your way in the tundra will be hard, and this finless here, it's flux. Well, I've not seen a finless be so honor bound before. If she and that quadrupus are willing to run about for you, well, you're good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Baboom. Here, er, Oon, here, head to HQ. We'll meet you there. We are not going to meet you there just yet, though. Let's go take care of the beta shard really quick. I'll meet you guys there. Ooh. But I guarantee, or can almost guarantee, that um, the beta shard's gonna be gone. So the third shard, we're gonna have to preemptively secure in Flux's vacuum sealed inventory. Okay, there's a telepad, we must be close. Here it is. Oh, the shard's still here! The shard's still here! Oh, I can't pick it up. <laughs> you guys just need to give me the shard. This doesn't look good. I agree, Juice Box. That's why I want the shard. The Beta Shard Podguard fought off the demon. But at a great cost. The integrity of the fort has been lost, and my two podlings are missing. We can't fend off another. Not like this. Star creatures, we need your help to re refortify. <sighs> Just give me the shard, I'll take care of it. <laughs> what do you need? Strong walls to keep the shard protected. Carboan should do the trick. It held Hugo's laser blasts just for a moment. How many walls reinforce this place? We just need seven. Move quickly, Star Beast. Well, I'll we'll have to see if I have enough um, Carboan for that. So let's see. Since we're already doing such scatterbrain stuff, let's go ahead and go to Greenstone. <laughs> Alright, we should be close. It's right there, yeah. Right in the middle of a lake. 
Ooh, bacon weed. I haven't seen bacon weed in a long time. All right, you. Spill the beans. What's going on here? You the greenstone guard? I am. Bit old for this duty, but with Hugo Duco splattering my podlings, I figured it wouldn't hurt. We bought you a few things. Some slurry canes and a potted parapods to keep you relatively comfortable. Thank you both. I should be fine up here, and you're free to use the stone whenever you wish. Hey, it's my potted parapods. Well, they're out of the way for me, but... Okay, so let's see if I can make those seven walls. Will this do? Perfect. Will these walls even slow Hugo down? It didn't look like he had any trouble blowing them apart. Oh, look! New walls. I thought I destroyed these just a moment ago. Time for a laser check. Flux? Robot? I thought we agreed that I won and we're friends now. That was definitely not what happened. <laughs> but we could have been besties. Oh, hey, what's that over there? Looks behind Flux. Fooled you. Time for death by life. L-Y-F-F? What the hell is L-Y-F-F? Um, Podguard? Podguard. Are you guys not gonna help? Guess not. Okay. These are gonna hurt. Okay, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to meet you guys back up when we're done. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> we got a stuffed one. Stupid Hugo. Doesn't he know he can't take you, Flux? Huh, you're a little better armored than I expected. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> You can't have the shard, Hugo. Fine. I guess you win. Just kidding, yoink! Uh, you guys should have just given me the shard. What do we do? I don't know what he said. Cough, cough. You need to make sure the last shard doesn't fall. Where is it? We will go there immediately, but you must first tell Chica that we have lost these shards. Can't you just beat that beatbox that information to him? Neither of us are strong enough beatboxers. Please, go back to the central pod guard. We will catch up with you soon. You know, you guys could just give me the shards. I can store them in my bag of holding or whatever I use as an inventory. And we wouldn't have this problem. All right, well. If I continue on this path, I will continue the main quest. I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, can't do that one. So let's go up to the GHQ. The yeah, they're more than likely going to have a bunch of stuff for me to do. So. Looks like everyone's here. Where's Grandmammy? Between all of our missions, we haven't gotten to let her know to come down yet. Why don't you go by the Creepstone Guard and tell her we're all ready? Okay. I can manage that. Hi, Flowery. How are my quadrupi? Operations are up and running, Grandmammy. You can go to the HQ whenever. Alrighty, I'll split my time between here and there, as I got some Polari gossip to catch up on. Grandmammy, keep your blowhole shut about that. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Wajum. I'll see you back at HQ, Flux. Gonna bring some goods to spiffy it up, too.
Oh goody, there's walls now. And she made a bone floor. How nice. Yeah, shut up, juice box. Flux, you made it back. I whipped something up to thank you while you were fishing with Oon. It's not much, but it might give you a good edge in a fight. Elixir of Resilience. Okay. Um, Flack. Ayo, Flux. What's cracking, Flack? Find anything explosive out in these frozen wilds? Many, many a thing. So many things, I'm having a hard time choosing, in fact. It seems the tundra is more volatile than the bog. So, what are you working on exploding these days? I've actually had a thought about all this exploding business. What if I've been looking at the problem all wrong? Oh no. What do you mean? I've been trying to figure out what the best exploding agents would be, but in doing so, I've stumbled on a deeper question. Rather than tell you, I want you to take these sh shriek shrieknel bombs and use them on the shrieks that are harassing one of our agents to the east. Pay careful attention to what happens when you use them. That should be interesting. Flux. I would ask a favor of you. What's up, Un? I believe I've been followed here to the tundra. By who? I thought no one cared about the Threshers. The Brubus do not care for Threshers, the Bog. She cares very much about them, just not in a good way. Wait, you think the Bog somehow followed you here? You've seen the entry to the tundra. A small tendril of the bog mother resides there. It seems she sent a thing or two here to remove me. I need you to take out the growths I found. I'm sure the Polari would not be happy about this either. Sure, where are they? The first is southwest of here. I spotted it as Makalak and I stumbled about the wilds and hit it as best as I could. Get there and pave over it with some smash blossom floors. They seem to have a natural toxicity to the bog. Okay, that's a lot more smash blossoms than I have, but sure. Seems our little operations got quite the kick in the pants from you, Flux. I do what I can. You done a quite bit more than that. This should work as a great holdout for any future problems and give our Polari friends a place to find us. Basically, a lifetime's work completed in such a short time, but there's still one thing left. What? Grandmammy, I swear, this fishing exception of yours is becoming of an un... <laughs> I have to reread that. Grandmammy, I swear, this fishing obsession of yours is unbecoming of a disciplined martial leader. Tis the only thing that sells me, Jack. A warrior's gotta sell her blood down somehow, eh? Flux, there's an old Polari around here, goes by Verdum. He's an expert fisherman, lives somewhere south of the Creepstone. Where it is, he's perfected a technique for fishing up huge schools of fish. Whole schools, in fact. Did I say huge schools of fish instead of huge numbers? Whatever, I ain't got time to run to him, but if you could track him down and see about that trick, I'd be more than grateful. Sure, we'll check on it, Grandmammy. What's this question mark here? I don't know. But let's see, I think I've got time for one mission. So let's see. We'll take care of Flax mission. I think that I think that's the best course of action. Yes, I teleported a distance that was easy to walk. All right, and here we are. That's a lot of shirks. I took detailed analysis of the projectile impacts and their velocity rates upon exploding. Hopefully that'll be all she needs. I oh I, can I just say that stung? <laughs> we should leave, quickly. Hey, I did wait for them to come out. You gotta give me credit on that. 
What did you see? The projectile speed of the bombs was pretty average, but their explosive power was substantially higher, and the coefficient of... No, 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 no. There's a more fundamental question than how fast it went boom. I'm not sure what you're getting at. We threw the bomb, the shrieks died, and then we had no bombs left. Exactly. <gasps> Sorry, I'm still lost. What? After you threw the bombs, you ran out of bombs. I still have nine more bombs. But if this means I'll have unlimited bombs... Well, yeah, using something up means it's gone. What are you getting at, Flack? What if I told you that using a power, a massively powerful magnet and some technium, we could potentially bend bombs or bind bombs in space-time? Like freeze them in place? No, like return them to a previous state. Return them from being exploded to back in your hand. Mm -hmm. That... This makes no sense, but sign me up, Flack. Okay, okay. I'll need some parts to experiment with. Bring me five technium and 15 slurb magnets. So question, what's technium? I know what the slurp magnets are. It's these little snails, they have magnets. But what's technium? Hmm. Interesting. Let me go home and see if I already had said recipe. Boop, gotta pick the plants. Okay, so I can't figure out what exactly technium is. I don't know where to get it. But what I do know is I need this newest set of armor. And I should be able to build it all. And I don't need boots. I already have my boots covered. I do need some more carboan for the weapon, though. Oh! That's technium! <laughs> well, we've got 18 of it. How much did we need? Five technium and 15 slurp magnets. We don't have that many slurp magnets. I think we've got like two. Okay, that's almost ready. Let's see, what level were the demon feet? Here we go. 27. Okay, and now we can make the weapon. Ooh, yay, it starts off as green. Okay, so I'm just gonna mess with the stats later. So I don't care about the stats. Ooh, this one started off as green too. This would start off as blue. All right, last one. All oh, start off as white. Oh my God, it's already got. All right, let's just equip it then. All right, so I'm gonna upgrade everything, and I'm gonna be right back. I've decided that I'm not going to waste my um, juice crystals um, re-rolling the stats. So my final stats are these. So 13.7k health. The health in this helmet is about the same amount that my health was beforehand. 20% toughness, 4% freeze chance, 0.16 HP regen, 28% poison power, 11.8k health. 3% burn chance, 3.5% shock chance, 17% fire resist, 24% ice power, gloves, health 5,900, 
Freeze Chance 1.75, Electric Resist 8.74, Ice Resist 8.74, Poison Power 12.2%, and then the Axe. Two attacks per second, 5.8k damage per second, Burn Chance 12%, Berserk chance 17%, shock chance 12%, crit chance 18%. So I basically tripled my HP, but I think that's going to be a good place to end the episode. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all my video updates. I'm going to put a couple of links over on the left for more videos you may enjoy. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.